A groin is a rigid hydraulic structure built from an ocean shore or from a bank that interrupts water flow and limits the movement of sediment. In the ocean, groins create beaches, or prevent them being washed away by longshore drift. In a river, groins prevent erosion and ice jamming, which in turn aids navigation. Ocean groins run generally perpendicular to the shore, extending from the upper foreshore beach into the water. All of a groin may be underwater, in which case it is a submerged groin. The areas between groups of groins are groin fields. Groins are generally made of wood, concrete, or rock piles, and placed in groups. They are often used in tandem with sea walls. Groins, however, may cause a shoreline to be perceived as unnatural. In coastal engineering, a groin's length and elevation, and the spacing between groins is determined according to local wave energy and beach slope. Groins that are too long or too high tend to accelerate downdrift erosion because they trap too much sediment. Groins that are too short, too low, or too permeable are ineffective because they trap too little sediment. Flanking may occur if a groin does not extend far enough landward. Working, a groin creates and maintains a wide area of beach or sediment on its updrift side, and reduces erosion on the other. It is a physical barrier to stop sediment transport in the direction of longshore drift. This causes a buildup, which is often accompanied by accelerated erosion of the downdrift beach, which receives little or no sand from longshore drift. Groins do not add extra material to a beach, but merely retain some of the existing sediment on the updrift side of the groins. If a groin is correctly designed, then the amount of material it can hold will be limited, and excess sediment will be free to move on through the system. However, if a groin is too large it may trap too much sediment, which can cause severe beach erosion in the downdrift side. In rivers River groins are often constructed nearly perpendicular to the river banks, beginning at a river bank with a root and ending at the regulation line with a head. They maintain a channel to prevent ice jamming, and more generally improve navigation and control over lateral erosion, that would form from meanders. Groins have a major impact on the river morphology, they cause autonomous degradation of the river. They are also used around bridges to prevent bridge scour. Types Groins can be distinguished by how they are constructed, whether they are submerged, their effect on stream flow or by shape. By construction method, groins can be permeable, allowing the water to flow through at reduced velocities, or impermeable, blocking and deflecting the current. Permeable groins are large rocks, bamboo or timber, impermeable groins are constructed using rock, gravel, gabions. By whether they are submerged, Groins can be submerged or not under normal conditions. Usually impermeable groins are non-submerged, since flow over the top of solid groins may cause severe erosion along the shanks. Submerged groins, on the other hand, may be permeable depending on the degree of flow disturbance needed. By their effect on stream flow, groins can be attracting, deflecting or repelling. Attracting groins point downstream serving to attract the stream flow toward themselves and not repel the flow toward the opposite bank. They tend to maintain deep current close to the bank. Deflecting groins change the direction of flow without repelling it. They are generally short and used for limited, local protection. Repelling groins point upstream. They force the flow away from themselves. A single groin may have one section, for example, attracting, and another section deflecting. By shape, groins can be built with different plant by shapes. Some examples include straight groins, T-head, L-head, hockey stick, inverted hockey stick groins, straight groins with pier head, wing, and tail groins. Gallery. See also, breakwater, drop structure, jetty, references. Notes. Construction Industry Research and Information Association Groins in Coastal and Jainringa Data on Performance of Existing Groin Systems, CIRIA Technical Note 135, Londona CIRIA, ISBN 0-86017-314-3, Crossman, M. and Sim, J. Manual on the Use of Timber in Coastal and River Engineering, H. L. Wallingford, Londona Thomas Telford, ISBN 0. 
7277-3283-8, French, PW Coastal Defense Caesar Processes, Problems and Solutions, London Routledge, ISBN 0-415-19844-5, Hoyle, J.W. and King, J.T. The Principles of Coast Protection, Lyndhurst are the authors, ISBN 0-903015-00-5, Z. Dwojki, B., by one quarter Adusky, R. and Pilukzyk, K. W. River Training Technikies of Fundamentals, Design and Applications, Rotterdam Barkima, ISBN 90-5410-196-2, Walker, D. J. Nishal Hydrodynamics and the Behavior of Groins on Sandy Beaches, Ph.D. Thesis, Imperial College London, 277p. Yosf, MFM Morphodynamics of Rivers with Groins. Delft University Press. ISBN A90-407-2607-8 also published in the Delft Hydraulic Select Series. External links, Groins in the Netherlands, Channel Coastal Observatory, Groins, Yosf, MFMI The Effect of Groins on Rivers, Literature Review E. Delft Cluster HTTP, Repository to Delft NLIR. Coastal Wiki Portal.